Hey guys, it's Nick from Soho Motorsports. George of Soho Motorsports. And today we're gonna discuss VQ Headlift. So we've been building motors for quite a number of years and have found weak points, failures, successes, a lot of things, everything in between all that. Um, and finally have come to a solution to where we can honestly say that We've solved it. We solved the, the VQ headlift. For sure. Um, so George is going to discuss uh, some of the things that we've come across. Um, we'll also discuss uh, fire rings, and then we'll also discuss the actual solution that we found. Sure. So um, when we first started, you know, we would do just regular cosmetic gaskets. Those are great for probably up to about 700 wheel. Um, after that, you would get headlift. It's a no-brainer. Um, our next scenario that we tested was we did copper o-rings yep. um the fire rings as you you know commonly yep. refer to yep. um that was okay um but that still lifted the heads um probably around what was it maybe around 800 it was 850 ish 900 ish yep, yep. and so, so it lifted the head um and then we actually have a solution now so that we've come across so and, and touching base on what he said about the the fire rings and everything so um what we tended to what we tend to see is with that copper uh o-ring you would say that goes into the actual block right uh, a lot of people will basically just do that no receiver groove in the actual head um, so it, it's great it creates another layer on top of the the actual cylinder because you have that protrusion of the copper o-ring the biggest thing is it's not really a a sealed thing full, because full piece, yeah because yeah, it's not really a, a full circle because a lot of times it butts up and you'll see where it doesn't meet up properly and that is just um, vulner vulnerable in regards right. to where it could fail yeah. Um, and a lot of times too, the, the big thing with that is, is once it lifts, it's, it's done for, it's done for, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's yep. a soft, malleable, um, component. And yep. so that's what we saw. And so we saw what we found is we, uh, we found going with a, a top fuel hoop is going to be the, the way. And, and George has one in his hand. Yep. Um, and so basically we, uh, contacted TKM after we kept having all these issues um with the the vqs and, and big horsepower and uh talk to kevin over there really nice guy really knowledgeable guy uh, he's been doing this for some time and he time. led us to basically the top fuel hoop yep so as you can see one piece um like your typical copper fire rings they are a piece of wire that you cut that you actually lay into the groove and then you'd have to cut on each side um to do a full circle like nick said that's your vulnerability point right there so this is a one piece stainless steel o-ring um, and what we do with this is we press it into the head um, don't know if you can see clearly on there but this is pressed into the head right here um, there is a receiver groove in the block um, which accept this um, to mate um, and we also pair that with a copper gasket that nick has here that is a proprietary gasket that we developed um, that goes along with these packages and so yeah, and with this head gasket, we contacted Clark uh, in regards to making a head gasket for us to basically assist with that top fuel hoop O-ring. So if, if you can hand me that O-ring here, I'll, we'll kind of also discuss too. So what happens is this is pressed into the head. And so this is pressed into the head and then you have the actual copper head gasket that lays onto the block. And then basically the receiver groove in the actual block itself is where everything comes together. The nice thing about having top fuel hoop is it's, it's a lot larger in height and so when i bring that up into discussion with the uh, higher height with the actual top fuel uh, hoop what it does is say you have the receiver groove on the block and then you have the o-ring on the head basically in the copper gas it goes inside it sits in here if there's any kind of movement in that head which there may be a little bit because you're doing big horsepower i mean things will tend to walk here and there um, what you're, what you're, what you're going to notice is if there's any little bit of movement, it's still going to stay sealed. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you're basically still keeping everything contained in that actual cylinder and not having any, any, uh, combustion come into the actual cylinder and cause any kind of overheating, cause any kind of pressure in the cooling system. Right. So this system is actually in all of our high horsepower cars, including Ben's 900 wheel supercharged car, uh, Nathan's 936, four, 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 four. Uh, stage three single turbo car, um, and also in Nismo Bay, which is right behind us. So Nismo Bay has been running this setup um, for a very long time. Um, 30, 31 pounds, 30 pounds that we typically see 
Typically, um, we see at uh, the track 31. Sometimes it'll hit 35. We have seen some times where it hit 47 because yep, the yep. wastegate line came off, and yep. it's still it's still going, man. We tested the crap out of this thing. Um, the engine is still good. It has not introduced any pressure into the cooling system with everything that we've done from numerous quarter mile passes, dyno runs at 30 plus psi. You know, over a thousand wheel horsepower on the dyno that we constantly like maybe. 150 down runs, yeah. if not more, if not more, um, and zero issues. So this is definitely the the end all cure to VQ headlift. Correct. And so another couple of things we want to talk about too, as well. So whenever you do get a package um, from us in regards to this setup, um, one thing is that we've talked to Kevin over at TKM, and this process for the VQ is proprietary to Soho Motorsports. Correct. So if you're wanting to do this kind of package, you would have to go through us in regards to that, just because of the amount of time, R and D. And matter of fact, just money we've invested into right. this actual department to kind of right. help resolve this this issue that's plagued the community for a number of years. Very long time. Um, and so when we found out that we were able to resolve this this headless scenario or, or issue, um, we started finding we're starting to see other weak points or weak points that could occur in the future. Um, and so if you can see here on the right, you'll see these are the the pistons that we um, designed with uh, Waseco. And so we found that the, the CP pistons that come in, in most of the cars that you're going to get are going to be rated for around 1200 horsepower. Um, we're well above that in the Nismo, so nothing's really happened yet in regards to having a failure in there. However, we want to look ahead. So you can see we've developed this piston. It's a lot beefier piston um, and also the, the much larger wrist pin that you see here. Um, so that's one thing that, that we've uh, um, developed along with this motor package. Um, you will get the Carrillo rods with the 3 8 bigger rod bolts. Right. Um, bearings i mean everything is all spec and we do build these motors and so and like i said we we like george said we've been testing these motors very long. um since before i want to say uh march of this year because right. nismo was introduced at texas 2k right. and so it's been running since march um so we do plan to basically uh up the ante on the nismo um, I guess it's safe to say that we've partnered up with Brian Crower for yep. next season and yep. we will be going stroker crank aluminum rods in the Nismo yep. um, and shooting for for big power. We're going to try to shoot for 16, 1700 wheel out of it. Um, granted, first, we want to resolve the transmission issues that we're, we're working with Correct. the company in regards to doing that. So we will go out on this setup prior to going to the new setup uh, to get ultimately that eight that we've been chasing yep. for, for yep. a while. So for sure. Um, but this is pretty much everything that you see here. Uh, we wanted to come out and, and discuss this, uh, what we found. Um, and so everybody is aware, if you do have any questions, you're more than, uh, you can contact us. Um, yeah, email, call, and, on, and to, to add to what Nick just said. So um, our website's a little outdated on the engine packages. Um, we're gonna go through that, probably have it up by the first of the year. That will include this service. So if you wanted to send us your block heads and everything to have this done, we'll have that on the website with everything that's you know detailed with it along with our other engine packages as well and then the the final thing so when we whenever we do quote um motors we usually will quote them with this service we're going to usually quote it as a full long block Correct. so when it's a full long block it's going to have all of the timing components it's also going to have if you want to hand me the yep. it's also going to have the the upgraded boundary racing oil pump gear inside of it as well too so it's not just hey it's the bottom end and the head it's pretty much the full package um, you will get powder coated timing covers, uh, color of your choice. Um, everything is all built. Uh, George is the, the builder that builds all these motors and he's built every single motor that's come through here. So he has seen what fails, what process works, what process doesn't work. I mean, yeah. everything in regards to that. Uh, and we still are learning. I mean, every right. day we're still learning about these things. It's not yeah. one of those that we say, hey, this is it and that's it. We're not gonna keep doing more research. We will continue to do more research on this platform. Yeah, and then what Nick said. Um, so we, I think, are the only company that offer a true long block. So when we say long block, this is a drop-in engine. So most companies' long block is bottom end, heads bolted on, and that's it. Um, so our long blocks are, you know, all of that timing covers, timing chains, water pump, oil pan, valve covers. It is a true drop-in engine. Um, so if that's something you're looking for, that, that's what we offer. And in, in conclusion, I mean that's. Like we we're saying if you have any questions please do not hesitate to give us a call yep. shoot us an email um typically if you respond through social media it may take a couple of days to get to it just because it's only me and george that are up front right. so the, we're the only ones that usually will answer or take calls or answer anybody's questions right. um but do bear with us uh, like i said we do want to provide this information to the community to show people hey like 
we're making big progress in this and we feel that the the Nissan and Infinity is definitely something that once it's figured out we can push at the, it. yeah we yeah. can push it we at the push track it, yeah. we can get the respect that we deserve uh, from the other from the the Fords the the Dodges and yep. all these other platforms that are out there drag racing yep. so we thank you for your time thank you very much